Matilda Wyman, Young Matildas and Western Sydney Wanderers W League goalkeeper. This year I completed Year 12 at Westfield Sports in Sydney, the first sports school in Australia. I'm here today with Heartbeat of Football to find out what Westfield students know about heart health. Heartbeat of Football, a not-for-profit charity, was founded in 2016 to work with amateur football clubs to educate, train and equip players and officials in order to reduce the risk of heart-related deaths on the field. Do you know what to do if someone has a heart attack or a cardiac arrest? Uh, recently we've been learning in our health class, but most uh, for the start you have to do doctor's A, B, C, D, but normally I wouldn't be the person to do it because I'm not a trained medical person. Do you know what to do if someone has a heart attack or a cardiac arrest? Um, no, not really actually. Um, probably the medical staff like the physios or whatever could potentially know what to do, so I would rely on them, yeah. No, unfortunately I don't, but it is something that I would like to learn because I think it is very important and could be useful and very in situations. Uh, no, but another first thing to do is get medical attention, so either look for someone who's a doctor or a physio or someone who's around. Mm -hmm. Do you know CPR? Yes, I know what it is. Um, I wouldn't know how to do it properly. I'd probably rely on the medical staff as well to do it. Yeah. Yep. Um, do you know CPR? Uh, briefly, but I know it's just pressing on the chest or the heart area. That's about it. Uh, no, I don't know that either, but I know they are educating us at school to learn procedures like that as it is very important and good to know. Uh, yeah, we also did a course uh, this year, like how many contractions and stuff like that, but more than likely you'd get a professional to do it. But in emergencies, yeah, I could do it if needed. When patient's chest is bare, remove protective cover and take out white adhesive pads. Do you know what a defibrillator is? Defibrillator, no. Oh, no idea. Ah, uh, yeah, I know what it does. Never used one before, but I know it's like, it sends electric shocks through the body and stuff to restart it. No idea, but I know that there are, um, Australia is trying to put a lot more defibs on around the local ground. Yes, I've been taught, but never actually used one. Like, it just sends electric shocks to the heart to help get the heart beats and get a response, but overall, no, I wouldn't uh, be capable to perform it. At Westfield Sports High School, students are learning about CPR and how effective it can be in tandem with the use of a defibrillator, a life-saving device. We have always taken CPR really, uh, I suppose, importantly here. Uh, certainly all our staff are trained, but um, in our uh, PDHPE courses it's a mandatory component there, so uh, we think it's really important because uh, heart health is absolutely vital. Some footballers have life-threatening issues, but don't know about it until it's too late. Former Sydney FC star Chris Kikinumov is one of the lucky ones. He was forced to retire from the game at just 20 years of age, days after signing a three-year professional contract in Spain. I was diagnosed with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy at HCM. The wall of my heart is, is probably double the thickness of, of a healthy person and, and I was at, at a high risk of, of having a heart attack during that time. Recognising the symptoms of a heart attack can go a long way to saving someone's life. Pressure, tightness or pain in the middle of the chest which may spread to the arms, neck, jaw or back is a telltale sign. It could also feel like indigestion or heartburn, nausea, cold sweat, unusual fatigue, lightheadedness, sudden dizziness or loss of consciousness. Unfortunately, um, um, heart issues don't just affect elderly. That is certainly a, a common misconception out there in society. 
uh, but uh, anybody can uh, be affected at any time. So the only way to overcome that is to have a regular checkup and make sure that it becomes part uh, of your health routine. I'm a person that plays over 45s football and it's so important that you do get your heart checked, but irrespective of your age, um, of your ability level, um, independent of what sport that you're playing, it's really important that you're, you take care of your health first before you go out and play sport. To be on the safe side, you should get a regular medical checkup, no matter what your age. For more information, contact your local GP or...